Alright, no, I don't want you. I want my magic. Even though I'm, like, uh, pretty much full on everything here. I would just like to be completely full on life and whatnot. Even though this palace isn't really... It's not that hard. Uh, probably palace number five is the hardest palace that you're ever going to come across. This is palace number four, so it's not too bad. This palace is the first introduction of whiz robes, though, so... That's going to be fun, I'm sure. Alright, I hate this guy, because he's always a pain in the ass to get out of the pit. And then when you do get him out of the pit, he always just walks right back in. Alright, let's see if I can keep him out here. Nope, he got back in. That's what I'm telling you. I don't even know if he's really worth it to fight. I'm just going on the slim hope that he's going to drop a pee bag, because that'll be worth 200 experience. That'll be cool. Dude, are you going to get out? Thank you. No, don't get the... Do <laughs> oh, man. Just jumping over him. This is really the best way to lure him out, is just to keep jumping over him. To trigger his mechanism. Oh, okay. Dude, this is seriously getting really... He normally jumps out more than this. I don't know why he's not. Alright, here we go. There we go. Now we got him. That's pretty sweet. Oh, uh, no. He does drop 70 experience, so I guess that's not all that bad. Oh, well, I'm not doing this again. No way. <laughs> it's not worth another 70 experience. By the way, pardon me if I don't remember my, my way like, completely well through this palace. I might get lost a little bit here. Because I haven't actually done this in a while. I did a few practice runs, but that was actually quite a few weeks ago. Um, I remember this, though. You want to kind of preset your fairy spell here just in case you don't make this jump. Which I didn't, and I failed to use the fairy spell anyways, so that didn't matter. Oh, well, damn it. Well, I'm going to have to get back up there eventually somehow, so... Because there is a key up there, if I remember right. And you're going to need every key you can get. Uh, what are those guys called again? The guy I just killed? I think he's called a Doom Knocker. I think Cow's Crazy posted a comment about that or something. Or a Doom Bringer or something. <laughs> it's a really, like, ominous name. It doesn't really work for him, in my opinion. Alright, let's see. we got a blue iron knuckle here. Had our fair share of you in the last palace, so I don't really feel like fighting you here. Of course, you're going to be seeing them a lot. Oh, yeah, this is... Dude, I don't even have the key. Jeez, what am I thinking? That's where the treasure is, too, isn't it? The treasure of this palace is nothing really special. Basically, it allows you to walk on water, which is only really used to get to the fifth palace. So, it's pretty it's pretty well pointless. All right, yeah, let's just fall again here. All right, I'm just going to go this way, because we need to get back up to that uh, ledge that I missed before. And oh yeah, here's our first whiz robe, I guess. Guess I can take them on. Yeah, that's all you gotta do, is just cast Reflect and just reflect their thing back at them. Oh, what? Oh man, do I have to go back this way and get a key? Jeez. I don't know, if I, I've never actually missed that jump before, the one, like the very first one to go get the key. So, <laughs> this, I'm kind of completely out of my element here. This is a unique experience. Or it's my first time experiencing this. So I hope there's a key over this way. Oh, dude. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. This is what I get for recording when I'm so tired. I probably shouldn't even be awake right now. I should just be resting up. Because in just a few days here, I'm going to have to be doing that five-day New Year stream. And that's going to wear me the hell out, I tell you. Oh, but it's going to be so much fun. Alright, yeah, you get over here. And I'll stab you into the flame. There we go. Uh, let's just buff up everything. Whenever you see a red jar, you might as well just cast everything that you want to. Life, shield, reflect, whatever you got, man. Alright, yeah, there is a key over here, so that's good. I'm not going to stab this. Well, I'll stab it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It could have very well been like a red iron knuckle or something that could have killed me by knocking me to the pit. But, I don't know. Yeah, watch out for that guy, too. He can pretty, he can screw you over pretty well. A lot of enemies can screw you in this place just by knocking into the pits. Like these Medusa heads or whatever. Well, they're not Medusa heads. I just call them that because of their, they act in the exact same attack pattern as the Medusa heads in Castlevania. So I've never actually beaten Castlevania. That's, a, that's another game I have to beat. There's so many games I have to beat. Because oh, I'd like to beat them before I let's play them. You know, I've never actually beaten Mario 2, the USA version. Never beaten it. And I'm going to be streaming that in the New Year's event thing. Alright, I'm just going to cast a jump here just to be absolutely sure that I'll make it. Sweet. 
Alright, oh, now I gotta fight this guy with the jump spell. That's just Jim Dandy. <laughs> Jim Dandy. It's like Stanley Stupid or something. Okay, um... What's in this room again? Yeah, I know this is where the key is, but I remember some pretty gnarly enemies in here. Yeah, we got this guy again. This guy's just everywhere in this dungeon. I don't know why. Jeez, I almost fell into that pit right there. Alright, I think at the end... Yeah, this is basically a carbon copy of that room we were in just not too long ago. But I think if you stab this, there is... There is... Yeah, I was afraid of that. Uh, well, he just fell off anyways, so whatever, man. He got one good hit in on me, but that's about it. Is that the best you can do? How much more blood can you squeeze from this stone? Duh. I barely even know what I'm referencing there. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if there's anything in that statue up there. Jeez. <laughs> that would be that would be so like them to just put something up there that you can't ever reach. Like, you could reach that statue, yeah, if you like cast the fairy spell or something. Why did I do that? I needed to get be on that second floor. I'm just flubbing this up, up everywhere that I can. Oh, so, like, where do you cut it? How do you determine which of the crap commentary to keep? Well, here we go. Alright, yeah, so we gotta go take on this blue iron knuckle over here now. Now that we can, because we have the key to the door. Something that I never mentioned, by the way, is that you can actually cast the fairy spell and get, like, in. you can, like, go through the keyhole in these doors. But unless you can, like, do whatever you have to do on the other side of the door as a fairy, it's not really that useful. I can think of, like, one instance where it would be kind of useful if you didn't pick up a certain item, but that's a little ways down the road. I think that's palace number six, actually. Alright, here. I think they actually make you do it in palace number six if you don't pick up that certain item. I don't know. My memory's hazy about that one, though, so... Whatever. Yeah, that is the dungeon item over there. I thought so. I don't know. I thought it was either, it was either the, the dungeon item or a pea bag, and I couldn't really tell, because I was concentrating on the blue iron knuckle. But those are the Pegasus boots, is what I think they're called. I'm not actually sure. They could be, like, the Hermes boots or something. That's what they look more like, but... Whatever. Right, and let's just fall again for like the third time in this one video. Actually, this might be two videos now. I don't know how I'm going to split this exactly. Mm. Alright, so we've pretty much done everything that we can this way. I don't think there's anything to gain by going that way. Maybe some experience or something. Hell, maybe there's a fairy over there. You never know. I don't think I've ever gone that way in my life. But basically what you want to do now is head all the way back to the start of the palace and head left instead of right from where you started. Oh, sure, now you just come up in one hit. Jeez, when I don't even want to fight you. <sighs> so typical. Alright, let's do this. The good thing about them having to make you, like, come back by the entrance again is that you can actually... Like, I'm doing pretty bad on life and magic here. So if you want, you can actually leave the palace and try and get this uh, red magic jar from the statue to appear again. Because it will appear again. Just so you know, of course, it might be a red iron knuckle, so just watch out. Alright. I might have to do this a few times. I'm probably just going to cut this out, me healing up all my stuff. Because that's not something anyone really needs to see now, is it? Oh, okay, so when do I start talking again here? Because I have a feeling I can cut that out. Yeah, but I got all my stuff healed up again, and we got more whiz robes to deal with here. More KKK. Alright, uh, reflect. Alright, nope. Man, that guy appeared right on top of me. Did you see that? That was ridiculous. I love the whiz robes in this game. They look so jubilant when they, like, strike you. They lift their arms up like they're all surprised. Why don't I have a key for this door? I should have a key for that door. Was I supposed to go... Oh, man. I told you my memory of this place was hazy. This is going to take, like, four videos to do this one palace. It shouldn't take that long. The longest I should take on any palace is palace number five. Or the great palace, which is the final palace in the game. I don't know, man. But this is palace number four. It's not hard. I'm just being stupid about it. Yeah, I think there is a key over this way, so I was wrong before. For some reason, I just don't remember ever going this way. I don't know. I guess you just don't remember going out of your way for keys like this. Yeah. These wizard robes in this game don't hold a candle to the ones in Wind Waker, though. 
Those ones are funny, man. Just the way they look. They're not even that strong in that game. Yeah, here's our key. Oh my goodness. And we gotta work our way out of here very tediously. The worst thing is when two of these guys come at you from, like, the two different directions. What are you doing, man? You're just taking hits left and right here when you shouldn't be. It's pretty easy to dodge. It's the easiest pattern in the history of anything. Of course, it's somehow very hard to dodge at times still. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> you fool. Alright. Oh, man. I know I could make that jump. You know, I'm just going to cast the jump spell just to save myself the pain here. Save myself from the pain train. Even though I'm still gonna cause pain to myself. Dude, I, I, I upstabbed you. <laughs> upstabbed you. There we go. Dude, can you... Can you not get hit by every single one of these guys? I'm like le letting every single one of them get, a, get at least one hit in on me. And I'm not liking that strategy very much. At least they don't seem to do very much damage. Of course, my life level is 7 now, so that could have something to do with it, I don't know.